It's a well-known fact that french fries are a staple of the fast food industry. But have you ever stopped to wonder how they make it into your fast food bag? We're going to take a closer look at how McDonald's french fries are made. Let's first take a step back and look at the history and origins of this tasty treat. French fries, also known as chips or frits, are a popular food made from thinly sliced pieces of potato that are fried until crispy and golden. The origins of this crispy indulgence are a bit disputed, but it is generally believed that they originated in Belgium in the 17th century. According to some accounts, the first French fries were made by poor villagers who lived along the Meuse River in Belgium. These villagers would often slice potatoes into thin strips and fry them in hot oil as a cheap and filling meal. The popularity of the simple dish soon spread, and it became a common street food in Belgium. During World War I, American soldiers stationed in Belgium were introduced to french fries and quickly developed a taste for them. They brought the idea back to the United States, where they were soon being sold in restaurants and cafes. Over time, the method for making french fries has evolved, and today they are often made using specialized equipment that can quickly and uniformly slice and fry the potatoes. There are many different styles of french fries, from the thin and crispy pome sayumetes to the thicker, softer steak fries. McDonald's fries are known for their signature thickness and soft interior. So how does McDonald's make their fries? It all starts with the potatoes. Potato varieties are categorized based on their color, size, and use. Some common types include russet, red, white, yellow, and purple potatoes. McDonald's uses a type of potato known as the russet Burbank potato for its french fries. This type of potato is known for its large size, high starch content, and light brown skin. It is also known for its fluffy texture and versatility, making it well suited for use in a variety of dishes including french fries. McDonald's sources its potatoes from dedicated farms in Idaho, Washington, and Oregon. These potatoes are carefully selected for their size, shape, and texture to ensure consistency in the final product. Once the potatoes are harvested, they're washed and peeled in a massive peeling machine. Potatoes are typically washed with water to remove any dirt or debris that may be on their surface. After washing, the potatoes can be peeled using a knife, a vegetable peeler, or a specialized potato peeler machine. The peeled potatoes can then be cut into desired shapes and sizes for cooking or processing. A commercial potato peeler like the kind McDonald's uses typically uses a combination of abrasive brushes and water to remove the skin from potatoes. The potatoes are placed in the machine and rotated against the brushes, which scrub the skin off the potatoes. The water helps to soften the skin and wash away the peels as they are removed. Some machines may also use high-pressure water jets to assist in the peeling process. After the potatoes are peeled, they are rinsed with water to remove any remaining bits of peel and dried before being moved onto the next stage of the processing. The peeled potatoes are then cut into fries using a specialized cutting machine. The blades are specially designed to cut the potatoes into the iconic McDonald's thickness and shape. After the potatoes are cut into fries, they are rinsed with cold water to remove any excess starch. This step is important because starch can cause the fries to stick together and become mushy when they're cooked. Rinsing the fries in cold water helps to wash away the excess starch and allows the fries to cook evenly and turn a golden brown color when fried. After rinsing, the fries are soaked in a solution of dextrose and sodium acid pyrophosphate Dextrose is a type of sugar that helps to maintain the fry's natural color and flavor. Sodium acid pyrophosphate, also known as SAPP, is a food additive that prevents fries from turning gray or brown when they are cooked. Soaking the fries in this solution helps to keep them fresh and flavorful, and it also helps to maintain their attractive appearance. When the fries are finished soaking, they are typically blanched or partially cooked in hot oil. This step helps to remove excess moisture from the fries, which can cause them to become soggy and greasy when they are fried. 
The blanching process also helps to firm up the fries and give them a crispy texture. Once the fries are blanched, they can be cooled and stored until they are ready to be fried and served. Fries are packaged for shipping to McDonald's restaurants in large bags or boxes. The fries are stored in a frozen state and packed with dry ice or other refrigerants to keep them frozen during shipping. The bags or boxes are then sealed to prevent the fries from thawing or becoming contaminated during transport. Once the fries reach the restaurants, they are stored in commercial freezers until they are ready to be cooked and served. Frozen fries are prepared fresh at McDonald's by deep frying them in vegetable oil. The fries are placed in a basket and lowered into a fryer filled with hot oil. It only takes a few minutes until they are crispy and golden brown. A timer helps to ensure that the fries are cooked for the correct amount of time, which helps to achieve the desired level of crispiness and prevent the fries from becoming overcooked or burnt. The fries are then removed from the fryer drained of excess oil, and seasoned with the fine-grained salt. Because it adheres well to the surface of the potatoes and provides an even distribution of flavor. They are then placed in a warming drawer or on a heat lamp to keep them warm until they are ready to be served. Workers use a special perforated fry scoop to gather the perfect serving of french fries depending on the size ordered by the customer. In a single year, McDonald's buys and processes over 3.4 billion pounds of potatoes and serves more than 9 million pounds of french fries every day. That's the weight of 45 orbiter space shuttles and french fries served every 24 hours all around the world. The french fry comes in many shapes, sizes, and styles, but there's only one McDonald's french fry. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for new videos.